In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the BioBalance fogging solution to determine if contaminated air from your attic or crawl space is entering your home and negatively affecting the air that you breathe. Although this video shows the fogging of an attic, the procedure is identical for a crawl space. Begin by sealing up any vents to the attic or crawl space. We recommend using plastic sheeting and duct tape from your local home improvement store. A 2 mil plastic is preferable to a painter's plastic as it is thicker and easier to work with. It is critical that large vents such as these gable vents be sealed to allow the fog to concentrate in the attic. Smaller vents, such as these soffit vents, should be sealed as well. This can often be accomplished with just a couple pieces of duct tape. Once the vents have been sealed, fill your fog machine with a BioBalance fogging solution and place the fog machine in the attic or crawl space. It is recommended that an extension cord be plugged into an outlet within the home and then to the fog machine. This will allow you to unplug the fog machine when done without having to enter the fogged area. Turn on the fog machine and allow it to heat up. Once heated, begin fogging. The fog in the attic must be sufficiently thick that you cannot see any further than approximately 10 feet as shown here. This may take between 30 minutes and an hour and a half depending on the size of the fog machine that you are using and the size of the attic or crawl space you are fogging. You do not need to be in the attic or crawl space to determine this. Simply look through the attic or crawl space access with a flashlight. When the fog is sufficiently thick, close the access to the attic or crawl space. Walk around the inside of the residence and look for any signs of fog penetrating from the attic or crawl space. Here we see a significant amount of fog coming from the water damaged area around a skylight. It is best to have lights on in each room to aid in seeing the fog. You may also smell the fog, which is an indication of an area that requires attention. Pay special attention to ceiling lights, especially recess lighting, electrical outlets, light switches, door frames, and HVAC registers. It may be helpful to use blue painter's tape to indicate a problem area. Here we see fog coming through the molding around an improperly sealed door frame. Here we see fog pouring through recessed lighting above a kitchen. After you've completed your walkthrough, turn the HVAC fan to the on position. This will indicate if there are leaks in the HVAC system that must be sealed. Once again, walk around the inside of the residence and look for any signs of fog penetrating from the attic or crawl space. Remember to pay special attention to ceiling lights, especially recessed lighting, electrical outlets, light switches, door frames, and HVAC registers. Note any area in which you smell or see fog entering a room. Again, it may be helpful to use blue painter's tape to indicate a problem area. Here we see fog entering through the HVAC ducting. This indicates a leg of ductwork that requires additional sealing or possibly replacement. The fog can enter through any break or hole in the ductwork. When the fog clears, examine the ducting looking for any nail or screw holes, unsealed seams between ducting, collapsed ducting, and improperly sealed transitions, such as between the round ducting and the rectangular register in the ceiling. When you have completed your home evaluation, simply unplug the fog machine. The fog machine can be removed from the attic or crawl space at a later time when it has cooled down and the fog has dissipated. We recommend not removing the plastic and duct tape from the exterior vents for 24 hours. This will ensure that you did not miss any problem areas and allow for a full treatment of the attic or crawl space. Please see our follow-up video on how to repair any problem areas that you identified to ensure that the dirty attic or crawl space air cannot enter your home.